Hello and welcome everybody. It's art journal time. Today I'm working on the October challenge of the journal workshops and I'm starting out with a ripped paper from my art journal and I am, well, spreading lots and lots of acrylics with um, a palette knife and making funny patterns with um, another palette knife spatula kind of a thing. Uh, into it, before uh, giving it a blast to, well, have it at least semi-dried. I don't want the acrylics to be dried completely. And then I went over with some uh, homemade stencils and uh, a sponge and other acrylic colors and dabbed a lot of patterns onto that part. So I want to have a very wild page here. Um, since I didn't have a painting that I could tear the paper, like a throwaway painting or anything. I didn't have anything at hand at that moment. So I made one, well, sheet of paper that I could just rip and use for that purpose. Uh, the purpose is to see something in torn shapes of the paper and then make art with it. So I needed to have something that I could tear. I'm going over the sheet here with several different acrylic colors. They are all named on my blog post, which will come out on Friday. You can also see lots and lots of close-up photos and a bit of a background story, what exactly inspired at one point. I'm not gonna have that disclosed here in the video. Uh, you have to <laughs> wait for the blog post. There's always funny stories there or interesting parts, I think, uh, for you to read up in English or German every Friday on my webpage. The link is in the description box below. So once I had that page done and colored and it all looked wild. I did let it dry completely and then I started tearing the paper and see, okay, what am I going to use? What do I see? And I chose those two pieces here and then I went back to my art journal book and went with uh, Cat Yellow and uh, Primary Cyan, which is a very light blue. And I made a lovely green, which is almost like uh, a May green or an apple green or a lime green, something to that nature. It's more of a warm green, lots of yellow, not a lot of blue. Um, and uh, painted the background solid, then dabbed on some of the green, the darker shade, to, well, resemble some grass. Dry off the page again with my blow dryer, and then I did glue down with just normal paper glue, paper to paper glue. I did uh, glue down the two shapes that I had torn earlier, just to, well, position them. They're actually animals. You cannot really see it yet, but I see animals. <laughs> I'm gonna make something with it. So uh, I waited for a moment to let the glue dry and then went in with um, Indian ink marker, just like a permanent waterproof marker, a black one that is, well, to, to give the torn paper shapes a bit of a personality and make them into characters. Um, well, I just like the cartoonish things anyway, so I went with cartoonish style here as well. So the right shape uh, that I'm currently working on is going to be a little birdie uh, who's just sitting there on, on the grass and uh, is either starting to make friends with the other shape, which is soon going to be a little piggy, or I don't know, he they play hide and seek? <laughs> I have no clue, <laughs> but I like the idea actually of them playing hide and seek. There's nothing where they hide. Okay, I, yeah. Hat cannon in my the cinema in my head is rolling. There's a whole movie there going with the bird and the pig and how they play hide and seek in the gardens. Anyway, back to the art techniques. I did take some charcoal and just shaded a few things, the outlines of well the lower parts of both of the animals, a bit of the grass, gave it a frame, and there it is. This is my take on the October challenge. I had a lot of fun with it. 
I hope you enjoyed watching along. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And please remember, on Friday, there will be the photos, the background story. Maybe I write up a story about the, how the bird and the pig meet or something. Um, and all the materialists. It's, it's going to be on my blog, so hop on over then and uh, check that out. Have fun, everybody. I will see you tomorrow with a new Tiny Tuesday. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.